I'm more the dreamer and he's the more practical mm. one. <laughs> <laughs> my late 20s, I felt ready to move into choreography. Alistair wanted another eye at the front of the studio, um, and I think he, he liked that I could say anything to him. Once I've choreographed it, he takes over. It just gives you more time than running around and missing the obvious. When I go into the room as a choreographer, I think it's better if I don't come across as this kind of really a bossy person. If the best result means being a friend, then it's better for me. You want it to be a collaboration, because if you do it really well, dancers often think they've made up things. They feel very involved in it. When we put on Connectum this time round, I came back quite raw to it. So I literally was almost teaching myself as I was teaching the dancers. Originally, I was going to make a narrative piece. Kevin, the director of the Royal Ballet, he wanted an abstract piece. It was meant to be just based on a, on a woman's interactions with men. But what happened was my father was diagnosed with cancer just at that point. It started to become more and more about loss. So the connectum is almost like a horrible cancer growing behind them. Ez Devlin, who is the designer, she came up with the theory of connectum, which is the idea that your brain is mapped out and every thought or action that happens to you makes an intricate web. So we would all be very individual depending on what's happened in your life. 